In this video, we're going to see if it's possible to add push notifications to a React Native Expo app in five minutes using nativenotify.com. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here's my timer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my screen out of the way. About to start my timer. Again, my goal, I'm going to see, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to see if I can add push notifications to my React Native Expo app in five minutes. So here we go. All right, so the first thing you need to make sure you have a React Native Expo app open. Uh, this is my React Native Expo app called React Native Tutorial. Um, it's an Expo Managed Workflow blank app. It doesn't have push notifications. This is my app.js page. The next step is go to nativenotify.com create an account, it's free. There is no credit card required. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create an account. I.com, create a password. Okay, and it sends a verification code to your email that you have to type in below. This is just really to verify that you um, have, you typed in your email correctly. A lot of times people accidentally type it in wrong without realizing it. Okay, there it is. Okay. So it should take you to a page that looks like this. Your first step is to create an app. <laughs> I'm going to name it uh, Native Notify uh, Push Notifications. All right, I'm just going to follow the instructions here. OK, it says the first step is to install these things. I'm going to copy that, paste that into the terminal, install. Looks like we're two minutes in. Got about three minutes left. All right. Step two, make sure these imports are at the top of your screen. I'm going to replace this React one because I have it here and the, these new imports. All right. Step three. It says to copy this code, paste it just under imports, but before your functions, so that means right here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that there. Step four, it says to make sure your app is a hook function. If you don't know what a hook is or how those work, there's a, a link here that explains how hooks work. I am using a hook function for my app, so I, don't, I can go to step five. It says to copy this and paste it at the top of your app function. So that would be right here. Okay. Uh, create a use effect function. This is uh, used in hooks. So if you don't know what that is, uh, you can look into hooks. I want to explain it. Got a minute and a half. Okay. Inside of hooks, copy and paste, or sorry, inside of your use effect function, it says to copy and paste this code. All right. A big thing here, don't change your app ID or your app token or it'll break it. Okay. So this says, uh, if this is an iOS only app, you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I'm going to try to send myself a push notification. So uh, I'm almost at five minutes. Okay, Expo start to st start my app. A uh, big thing here is push notifications don't work on a simulator or an emulator. Um, it has to be on an actual phone. So you should download the Expo Go app on the App Store. Still opening? Okay. You should uh, download the Expo Go app on your phone and then open up the app in uh, Expo Go. And you'll have to do that first. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, okay. Sorry, it's in my other page. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you'll need to open up Expo Go on your phone, scan this code right here. You'll have to open up your app first so that your phone can create a token and register it with your account. So I'm going to wait for that to happen. This is taking a while. Let's see. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I did have push notifications added in five minutes. <laughs> it's just my app is taking some time to load. Man, who knew it would take longer to open the app than it would to add push notifications to the app. <sighs> OK, it just opened on my phone. So that means I'm ready to send a push notification. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I'm going to go ahead and just type the title. This is my title. This is my message. I'm going to try out sending a push notification to myself. Okay, you probably heard that. And there it is. It looks like it showed up. It's at the very top there. Uh, the thing I have on is covering it up, but you probably heard it. Let's see. Okay. There it is right there. All right. Let's see how much time. Man, okay. Well, I'm going to pause it. So it says nine minutes, but as you could see, probably three minutes of that was the app loading. Uh, which I probably cut out of this video. And then maybe another two, three minutes of that was just signing up for Native Notify and showing you how all that worked. But uh, it was pretty close. So you could add push notifications into your React Native Expo app uh, using Native Notify <clears throat> in around five to seven minutes. Now, uh, that this... What we just did will only work in an iOS app. If you want it to also work in the Android version of your app, there's an eighth step that you have to follow. Uh, but that, that one only takes about five minutes. I've created another video to show how to do that as well. It's on our channel. Um, so anyway, yeah, almost a success, not quite. But uh, if you'd like to uh, see more videos about React Native development, uh, be sure to subscribe. Please like this video, comment in uh, the description below, and uh, we're going to be coming out with more videos that help you learn how to uh, be a better React Native developer and also how to find a job if you're uh, a React developer, a React Native developer, and are looking for a job. Uh, we, we give advice on how to find jobs and stuff like that. Those will be coming soon, so make sure to subscribe, like, uh, click the bell icon and comment in the description below and we'll see you next time.